Hi, this is Tech65 and we are looking at a prototype of uh, Windows Phone 7. So this is a Windows Phone 7 prototype. This particular prototype is a model with a full keyboard. As you know, for Windows Phone 7, they have a, a keyboard model as well as just a normal slate. Okay, so let's just do a little pretty quick tour. So you unlock it like this and uh, the password for this, whoops, the password for this one happens to be this. And then uh, you can just take a look. This is, they call this the hub, right, the starts hub. Thing about magic, and uh, you can actually. So this is where you actually cu customize things, and you can you know drag things around, shift them around, and uh, they will just realign, which is kind of cool. So you can actually customize what what you actually want to see on your home screen, and um, uh, depending on the on the tile, they can actually be able to aggregate a certain kind of uh, information, right, uh, from the feeds and stuff like that. So you can just take a quick look at the kind of stuff they have here. Internet Explorer. Um, so yeah, this is the the browser. Uh, I don't know whether we are able to get, yeah, well, there isn't any, uh, so like I said, this is a prototype, so some things don't really work here, the browser's not really working on this particular one. Um, so then these are emails, let's take a look at that. Although, so you have like uh, pretty cool uh, stuff, um, you know, you got the, the, the panels on top here, pretty much like a zoom, you've probably seen that already. Right, and you can uh, quickly go through uh, the views, and then we can just go back to the start again. Okay, with uh, Gmail, for example, so uh, you know Yahoo Mail and all that, you'll probably be able to push, um, get, uh, uh, get them set up on this particular phone, um, pretty easily. Okay, so let's take a look at other things. The phone, it's not working on this model, but just thought in case you're interested to see the, uh, how this actually. Whoa. Okay, gotta blow this one out later. Um, so we got a dollar right here. Yeah, pretty big standard stuff. And let's see, messaging. A good chance to take a look at the keyboard. So let's just hit the, the plus key to send a new message. And then uh, let's just type the message itself. And then you can actually see the keyboard, the on screen keyboard. So, like, uh, it's not this. Okay, T9 is up, is there. That quick. Yeah, so the, the T9 is pretty much, it's kind of there. So that, that's fine. You can do attachments for MMS and stuff like that. Um, what else do we want to take a look? So this is probably the, the okay. This is like your personal profile thing. So you can take a quick look at that. It's taking a little while to load. So your Facebook, your Twitter, uh, Windows Live, and all that—they're all here. Okay. And um, the calendar is probably one of the most impressive-looking ones, uh, looking applications so far that we've seen. So you can take a look, um, it's very nice uh, animations, very nice transitions. Uh, the only thing right now we're finding as an issue is that uh, it, the load time for an application takes a while, but do know that this phone again, this just rebooted. Uh, one, that, that and uh, the phone just rebooted, so usually, you know... Uh, it's trying to get all the data... You're starting to start yeah. out for the first time. So, there you go, so you guys see the calendar right here. Uh, very nice looking calendar. And then you can actually see the information. They will actually fade in, fade out. You know, you jump through days by scrolling really fast. And then you can uh, view it in agenda mode. You can view it in, um, uh, let's see, there's a month view here, which is very nice. And you can see all the, uh, like, very faint, um, the days appearing at the bottom. Oops. So you can see that the days will appear here, and then they will just try and scroll it right in. So it's very nice stuff. And I really like the the, uh, the design of it though. Yeah, and you just hit one and you just go zoom right in to find out what is going on on the particular day itself. So this one's very cool. And then of course you have uh, the pictures. So right now, very nice. They actually have a um, you know they choose one of the photos as a background, and you can take a look at the, the photos. Uh, it's, it's very cool. Zoom. This is the uh, audio player. Just take a while to load. So you can see music videos, podcast, radio, and then if you actually have a marketplace set up, you will see it at the bottom as well. And then you can actually see it, uh, and then, you know, uh, through history. So you know you can see you know the uh, yeah it supports uh, Asian characters yep. Japanese Chinese can... and then you can actually jump songs by just kind of just flicking it so it's kind of cool and then we can just go back to the start page again 
and take a look at other things. You have the office application. I think this is one of the really good applications on that comes with the phone, right? Yep. So you can maybe you can create a new uh, Excel document, for example. Right, and very nice. So you got some sample Excel sheets here, and then you can actually zoom in and uh, uh, take a look at all these kind of things. So it's very nice. Of course, with uh, formula support probably, and uh, notations and things like that. So let's go back. Um, take a look at PowerPoint. Oops. See so and see the PowerPoint slides. Yep. So can you actually create PowerPoint slides and... Uh... Let's take a look. So new documents, uh, as usual, you wouldn't be able to cre create PowerPoint slides. Yeah, that has been the case for even uh, Windows Mobile today. So Word and Excel, and of course OneNotes, which is on this side here. So you can actually create OneNote notes. Uh, it's not, not much different in terms of functionality compared to our current uh, versions of Windows Mobile. Yeah. So let's... Uh, go back to the start again and see what else th there is there is um, so here you can actually attach people right specific people you can actually put them right here so they can keep track of them and then when they have new updates you will see them all over here and of course you have big maps here <laughs> let's take a look at the big maps so you can see it's right here this is the big maps ah, um, so yep, that's that's multi-touch definitely. I didn't show they didn't show that in the photo one, but there is definitely multi-touch, and uh, there's voice recognition as well, powered by uh, what do you call it? Tell me. So um, yeah, probably not going to demonstrate it, but basically when you hold and press press and hold this, uh, they will actually you know ask for you can actually speak here and then they'll try and recognize it, but uh, we're not going to do that now. It's it's quite okay. I mean it's. Uh, definitely much better than the uh, voice, the uh, voice commands by on the iPhone, since you can literally tell them to search for things and they will do that. Yes. Compared to the iPhones, which are preset instructions. Yeah. So that, that is pretty much pretty much it. So you can see here, there's this little arrow here to see all the applications that is available on the uh, on the device itself. Let's 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 take a look at the settings. Yeah, let's take a look at the settings and what you can actually mess around with. Uh, ringtones and sounds, themes. So um, themes, I, I think it's good enough for me that you can choose choose whether you want a back, uh, dark background or you want a light one. And you can choose the accent colors, and you can go back here. Uh, Bluetooth, email accounts. So you can set up. This is probably where you can set up the connections as well. Oops. Yes, alarmometer is working. <laughs> so um, you can see uh, you can add Facebook and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, date, time, brightness, keyboard, region, ease of access, speech, uh, find my phone, you see here as well. So applications, application settings, so you've got games, so which is nothing, so we're just going to go back. So how about, um, how do I add new panels into the front screen? Alright, so to add a new panel, apparently it's, you got to hit from here and then probably, yeah, there you go, press and hold and pin to start. Yeah, and then you'll just go to the start screen. So uh, I'm guessing it's going to work the same as well. So let's actually look for people right here. Let's take a look at people. And uh, we're running out of time soon, but let's just quickly just take one. All right, and you can see the kind of information you're able to pull from the person. Uh, you know, Facebook uh, profiles and things like that. And then, you know, if you want to pin it, just press and hold. No, oh, I sorry, just hit the start, pin, yeah. pin to the start screen and then it will just pin right here. All right. right at the bottom. Uh, very quickly, the hardware. Okay, so all Windows Phone 7s will actually have the same thing. This is the search button, the start button, which brings you back to the home screen, and the contextual back button. Okay, uh, this particular LG model, let's take a look some more. Volume controls right here. Uh, 5 megapixel web uh, camera, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, and, uh, this is a micro. USB? It should be a micro, yeah. This is a micro USB. Power switch is up here. And of course, you have the. Uh, the full QWERTY keyboard, so you got the, the caps lock function keys right here, uh, and pretty typical stuff. Yep, so that's it. That's it. This is the uh, Windows Phone 7 prototype preview. First look by Tech65. Hey everyone, Daniel here from Tech65. So today's date is actually August August the 6th. So, um, so the video you just saw earlier was taken several months ago. So just wanted to show you a little update uh, of the latest version of software. Uh, pretty much the, the, the features that you saw earlier were completely identical, but you can see that the performance is definitely much better right now. So I'm just going to take a look at, say, the messaging application. You can see that uh, it, it, it's, it definitely scrolls faster compared to what you saw earlier. Uh, and you can see the keyboard is completely identical from uh, what you just saw. 
And uh, let's take a look at something else a little bit more demanding, maybe the uh, picture application. And you can see it's, it's, it's quite smooth. You, you don't feel, uh, there isn't this uh, feeling of a, a, a lag going on. So um, this, this phone is very close to release in manufacture. And um, so you can tell that uh, they've definitely fixed uh, in terms of performance compared to what we just saw earlier. So just thought to give you an update uh, with regards to the Windows Phone 7. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.